Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today guys, we're going to be continuing our real company run. We're going to be doing a Walmart run. From, uh, from, uh, let me see, where are we at? I know we're hauling glass tables. Fresnos to San, Bernard San Bernardino, California. We're hauling glass tables. Uh, it's going to take us 11 hours and 27 minutes to get there. I just started the game, so that's why I don't remember exactly where we're at. We're using a freight line of Cascadia. Um, I did go online and try to match it the best I could to what their trucks look like. Um, I know it's not going to be 100% accurate, so let's go on the road. 324 miles. That's the shortest run I can find today. Also, guys, I want to say that I did put out a poll over on uh, Discord, and Discord, uh, you guys seem to like it better when I do the use the SCS trucks and do runs with like with mods with SCS trucks. So, let me do a little, do more of that, uh, less modded trucks. I, I don't use a lot of modded trucks as it is, but I'm getting uh, you guys are telling me that you like it better. SCF truck for my right. and stuff for me, so that's what we're going to be mostly focusing on. But I did promise to do a run with the Mac F700, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because I did make that promise. So I was going to do it. So. I did take a couple weeks off. I had some other things I had to work on. Um, and honestly, yeah, the computer has to run the best either, so I've been kind of trying to figure out what's going on with that too, so. Get ready to turn right. But we're going to try to get back into things now. I uh, did not take a week off from streaming, I just took a week off from making videos. Just haven't really had the time with everything that's going on and a few little computer issues going on too, so. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the content. Hope you've been enjoying the live streams uh, we've been doing on Friday night. So uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see the live streams, just come on out. Turn Eventually, right. we'll go over to my live stream channel. As of right now, it's not doing it because I'm, I'm trying to build it up with subscribers. Um, so. Eventually, uh, all live stream will be over there. Truck is running a Detroit diesel. Well over what they would use a uh, 600 horsepower, I believe. An 18 speed eating fuller. Now, of course, this truck is automatic, so, you know, you wouldn't need the 18-speed and automatic, but, you know. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. And we're hauling fireworks, so if I forgot to tell you what we was hauling, um, hauling fireworks today. Watching the traffic here. Man, to just pull out there. Sometimes you have to do that because they won't let you out. You have to sit here forever. CHP. So you got the train on. Let me know 
know of any company uh, that you want to see a, a, a real company run that we can do. Uh, if I can find a, a, a paint job for the truck or trailer, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, I've got some other ones that I'm, I want to go back and revisit. And then it's been a while since I've done it. If I can find you know, the paint job and stuff, definitely will do it. But you know we're in California you got that 55 mile hour speed limit and we just, I decided not to go with the all digital dash uh, and the uh, Cascadia today I thought I'd just stay with the old uh, dash in it with this run I'll have to get a thumbnail. Turn right. traffic mod that actually gives you your speed limit on the interstate at 90 miles an hour so I don't know if it's gonna well let's see if we can get it up to 90 let's see and get a thumbnail we'll have to lighten it up a little bit it's starting to get dark on us so we'll have, we'll have to lighten it up just a touch uh, like I said I tried to match uh, what I've seen online or what their trucks look like and uh, they do have some uh, Cascadia's with this look so um, I did see a few of them that did have that look Go ahead and brighten it up just a little bit. You see, you see the truck a little bit better. Zoom into it a little bit here. There we go. Got our thumb now. Let me just drop back down to 55. I 
like I said, guys, I, I will. I'm still going to do some modded trucks. I'm not walking away from doing modded trucks. But I'm going to do them uh, rarely. Um, if I see one that's coming out. And there's a few of my tips that I do want to do videos with. So I'm still going to do them. But a lot, a lot of on the poll that I put out, a lot of you guys, you prefer this over doing modded trucks. Uh, using SCS truck with mods. And, we're also going to do, um, I've, got, I've got a profile that I've got set up that when we do our lots of live stream, we're going to do it on that profile, we're going to do the coast to coast runs uh, using SF trucks and with mods. So, we've got a lot of ideas coming. Um, and I think one reason why um, I'm going to kind of do it that way too is because there, there's so many other YouTubers out there that. They do mod reviews and you know, use mod trucks and stuff like that. And there's so many out there. And, and I'm, not, I'm not gonna be the one that's greedy. And uh, I, I don't want to do the same thing anybody else is doing. So I want to do something a little bit different. And uh, so every, cause that, there's enough room out there for, every, for all of us to, have to, do, to do what we want to do and do it our way. It's the way I'm gonna get it. I, I, I don't want to be one of those one of YouTubers that does the same thing as I just got an example as Jeff Bobbano does uh, in his videos, uh, doing mod reviews and you know, engine reviews and stuff like that. I don't want to do that all the time. I want to just get me here and drive trucks and look at the sites and have a good time. And if I decide to use a mod truck that day, I will. If I don't, that's okay. Okay, really true, these trucks here are not bad at all. And they're getting better. Um, engine sounds is, has been an issue from the beginning. But, you know, that's something that they are working on. But, but they're getting a lot better. But that's why we have mine. I did promise that I was going to use that truck, so we're going to do it. Uh, I've got another one that I'm going to do another cab over. I've had some uh, subscribers like the cab over, so we're going to kind of, uh, there's two other, another cab over after that one that I'm going to look at. Maybe do a video with that one. But we're going to kind of stay with our own normal routine for what we do here at ATS. Let me know, guys, what you think about the International. I love the new International 9900. Um, awesome. Awesome dude. Awesome truck. Uh, it's has done a great job with it. Um, I keep left there. And let me know what you think about the state. Uh, do you think? I think Montana's going to come first, in my opinion. Texas is such a huge map. It's going to be a lot. Take a lot to do it, so I think Montana is going to be uh, first. Oh, uh, we got up here. Well, you know we're going around. If it let us, we're going around. to get in here. We're going to see. I should have turned it down. I always forget to turn it down when I record. It doesn't really bother me when I'm not recording. That's why I want to keep it turned down. I just go along with it when I just sit here playing. So when I'm recording with you guys, go around it to kind of save, uh, you know, report time. So you guys don't have to sit here for another 30 minutes or we've uh, had to go around an accident or something, a road blocking or something. So. Keep left there. 
but yeah, I think, like I said, uh, we're going to keep doing a uh, modded truck, but it's not going to be as much as what I had thought about doing because, I mean, there's so many modders out there, there's so many YouTubers out there, the Hardy does it, and but I'm sure they probably do a little bit better with the modded trucks than I do. Um, I have a lot of subscribers that like the way that I do ATS uh, over what other people do. So, you know, it, it's it kind of all fits in. But I want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching the channel. I keep left thank there. you to everyone who's been subscribing. Uh, if, if you do like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're going to try to start doing a lot more live streams on Fridays. Uh, we may do some on Saturday. That's still up in the air about Saturday, though. Because uh, I, st I still still have a full-time job. Right so it's kind of... I have to kind of get in here and do things when I can, you know. And I don't have, what you say, a 9 to 5 job, so... Hundred and twelve miles to go. In this run. And I wanted to kind of make this run uh, legit. Uh, I wanted to haul from Walmart to Walmart because pretty much that's what these trucks would do. They'd go like, to the distribution centers and pick up and haul to the stores or to another distribution center. They, you wouldn't see them hauling the FedEx or the UPS or somewhere else most of the time so that's why it took me a little bit to find a run going to like that going to Walmart to Walmart That 55 mile hour speed limit, and we're still in California. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know uh, what you want to see. Um, like I said, I do have two in mind that I had already done, promised it was going to run them, and uh, we are going to still run them. I'm just not going to feel like I had plans to do it. I there. just think that. There's a lot of the monitors out there, and YouTube it does that. So I, I wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, kind of mix it in here and there, a little bit of modded trucks here and there, you know, stuff like that. In case you run one in a live stream, um, don't want to do the same thing over, you know. And when it comes to that, I keep left there. Save us a little bit gear here. We got 60 miles to go.
Uh, I did try to record one of those videos with one of those modded trucks, and for some reason, I don't know if it's the profile I was on, but it was really bad laggy, so that video would not be coming out. I'm going to redo it um, maybe on a different profile, see if I can figure out exactly what's going on. The reason why it was so laggy. It, it, was, it was bad. Here it's uh it's really good. I mean you see a occasional stutter. Uh, I think that's a mod somewhere. Maybe this traffic mod we use it, who knows? You know. Yeah, we made pretty decent time on here for it to be 55, just about all the way down here. This traffic mod too, actually, I, I like this traffic mod because as you can see, it's probably... Oop, I hit the wrong button. I was going to look at the time. It's... Eleven forty at night, and there's light traffic. I keep the left there. So. so it, it kind of gives you that where uh, it goes on the time where the traffic level is more, like in the morning for rush hour, <clears throat> maybe four or five o'clock that noon more for afternoon traffic. Then it kind of dies off. I like to see that. A little bit more stutter in there. Not too bad. Keep right and then exit right. this trouble. Eh, it won't be too bad. we do here. Try back as much as we can from the cab here. Pull up this way a little bit. Why don't I have to cut it sharp to get it in there? Mm. Maybe not. We 
may have to turn around and back it from the other way. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it from here. We'll try a little bit more. If not, we may have to turn around back it the other way. Turn it deep here. Yeah, I think we're gonna turn around. Let's turn around and see if we can back it from the other way because don't let one bit back it from this way. Not get it in there like it needs to be, so let's turn around here. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna back it in there. No. Like it should be. I probably should have went this way in the first place. I thought maybe we could get it in the other side. I don't use, I don't have a tracker R guys, so I have to kind of work what I have. The best way I can do it, to back a trailer. So now we should be able to pull up. So we pretty much we've got it lined up, so we should be able to pull up. It's over a little bit. Nah, we're not happy with that. So let's uh Let's pull up. We're gonna straighten it up. Get it in there better. That's better than what it was. Not perfect. Let's pull up a little bit now. Try straight truck. So we drove excellent. We drove 325 miles. It took us 8 hours and 16 minutes to get here. We consumed 44.5 gallons of fuel. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the night video. You want to get in here, like I said, do a Walmart run. Um, using the Freightliner Cascadia. Um, did uh, discuss a few things. Like I said, I do have... I did promise to do a... Um, Mighty Truck review on the Mac F700, so I'm going to do that, but we're, I'm going to kind of not be doing as much as that. Uh, I think that this kind of content is what I'm doing. I did put out a poll, and uh, you guys seem to like it more than doing Mighty Truck reviews a, a lot, so, for me anyway. So, thank you for everyone who's been watching. Thank you for everyone who's been subscribing to the channel, and, um... Have a good day, and I'll be looking for the next real truck run, real company run, because there will be more coming. Uh, I've, I've always got more ideas of real companies to use. Uh, this is one that I've been wanting to get in and do for a while, and we'll do another one. Uh, maybe we'll do another one before we end it with a with a different truck. Why don't we do that? Because uh, this texture does work on different trucks, the paint job, so 
well, maybe we'll do that too. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, have a good day.